Image mapping is another game-changing innovation from Smart Level, where you simply either take a photo on the job site and drop it into the app, or you can use aerial drone images to upload into the app. Then you can add the height and distance measurements directly into this photo. What you end up with is a photograph of your job site with all of your height and distance measurements dropped directly in. It doesn't get much better than this. We're going to drop a drone image into the image mapping function a smart level. First you go to image mapping from the home screen. It'll pull up a selection of the images that you have in your phone. We're going to take this one, choose. Now we're going to go, we've already, we zeroed the level on this patio. We're going to go to this location here I'm going to drop a couple of images in. I'm going to show you how easy and quick this is to do. Now we're walking down and placing the level itself directly at the bend of this sidewalk where we put the crosshairs in the app. Let me know and you can see I'm moving the crosshairs down to exactly where we are right now in the bend. Mm -hmm. And we're at uh, 27 inches and some odd. We've dropped that that reading in. Now I'm going to go right over here where these intersect. And we're going to move our crosshairs to this intersection point. And you can see at the top of the screen here we pretty much settled out a little under 27 inches. And we're just dropping those readings into the aerial image everywhere we go. And as quickly as you can walk, you can drop those images in. Now here's an example where we have simply taken a photo on the job site with our phone, loaded that image into the app, and we will simply set the level anywhere in that property that we want to get a height reading. For example, I set the level down behind this tree here on the upper hand side. Then we just line the crosshairs up where we set the level, and we can drop those readings in as well. Super easy quick when you finish it you have a photograph of the job site with all of your height and distance readings added. Now there are two ways to measure distance with your iPhone. First we're going to go back into the image mapping. I have simply taken a photograph of a tape measure. You can see I put a little red disc under it so we can tell what we're going on. We're going to choose this image. We're going to Choose the augmented reality, the button on the left, and we're going to line our crosshairs up exactly where we are. We go through and put our little green crosshairs on the starting point. We simply walk holding the phone about the same height from the ground, walk about the same speed, go down to our end, and you can see I've marked this at 10 foot. Then we move our crosshairs to the other end of our tape measure. And we've got 10 foot, 1 8 inch. We're off 1 8 of an inch on 10 foot. Typically, I advertise the accuracy of this, depending on how you use it. If you want to be just really fast, 2%, but you can get this really close if you pay attention to what you're doing. Now, if you want to get dead on the money, you can actually measure with a tape measure and drop your tape measure reading in. What we will do, you see the little arrow on the right opposite the one that says AR, the augmented reality. I'm going to go in and change this to red so we can tell that we've got a different reading here. So what we'll do is we'll go in with our tape measure reading. Then we'll walk to the other side And you can actually enter the distance manually. So we just entered that 10 foot. So you can do the aug augmented reality on your iPhone if you wish, which in this case was over 10 foot was accurate to 1 8 of an inch. And if you want to get it exact, you can measure it with a tape measure and you can manually input 
the distance measurements yourself. So you have two options on uh, adding the, the distance measurements along with your height measurements.